And yeah, so it's um, fat burning heat. I forgot what it was for a second then. <laughs> so fat burning heat, 60 seconds of work, 30 seconds of active recovery. I've got a can, just using wood, just to add a little bit of, little tiny bit of resistance and just a bit of focus on that body for certain moves. Right, so first move, we're going to hop twice on each foot. This, you're holding the ends of the can, so it's up and down, hopping twice on each foot. Get ready, get warmed up if you need to first. Three, so I'm saying three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, let's go. Little double hop on each foot. Bring those arms up and down. Push that can up, bring it down. Don't drop it down. Light little hops. You don't have to launch yourself up into the air. Breathe. Straight up, straight down. I'm not going like that. But straight up. two times for that. I'm going to have a little sip. Just keep moving a little bit, a little, little bit. I'm not asking you to jog on the spot, as long as you're moving a little bit. Four, three, two, one, we're off again. Straight up, straight down with that can. Be careful of your posture. We're upright, I'm not leaning, or twisting, or anything else. move four times. Ten seconds. So that move means we're only doing five different moves. Three, two, one. One more time of that coming up. You can bring it down a bit, you can slow it down. You don't have to go at my pace, go slower, the same or faster. Your choice. Well, 
mostly your body's choice but actually a lot of it's up here you can probably go faster than you th think you can doing that again in less than 10 seconds three two one last time on this one keep those arms pretty tense Again, like I said, straight up, straight down. I'm not like going like this. I'm not flopping my arms any which way. I'm going straight up, straight down. Thirty seconds. back bringing your knee up one leg just one leg we're going to do each leg twice it's going on there three two one here we go set that foot back onto the ball of your foot bring that can up straighten out those arms you're leaning forward and again the speed and range of movement is up to you if it's too much, just push straight forward. Put the can down if you need to. Feel it on that supporting leg. You're working those muscles quite a lot, just standing that, holding that position, trying to stabilize it. 20 seconds. Push those arms out. Bring that knee up. I'm not banging the can on my knee, they're not touching. 10, three, two, one. Yeah, a bit scared about this pump, this insulin pump. It's I've never put it on my arm before and I've had to cover it in medical tape. It's not due to be changed till tomorrow. I'm a bit scared it's going to drop off. You're doing the other leg. Just move a little bit. So again, you're in this position, you're pulling up, stepping back, pulling up, stepping back. Three, two, one, go. Look straight ahead, lean forward, bring that knee up, push that foot all the way back to the ball of your foot. Straight back up as soon as it's landed. Shoulders down, looking straight forward. I'm not looking down, whoa. 30 seconds. Come on. Feel it. Burn that fat, come on. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Other side, coming up. That's a good one. Ooh. Try not just stand there, just try and move a little bit, even if you're just twisting something, some kind of movement. Some kind of wonderful drifters. Wow, okay. <laughs> Is it the drifters? I think it is, anyway. Never mind, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Bit scared, I think I'm doing the last leg. The leg I did last time, it doesn't matter. Go 
will still be doing both legs twice. Keep a dip in that foot, uh, that supporting knee, that supporting leg. It's not straight, it's dipped and you're leaning forward slightly, trying to keep your back pretty straight, keeping your chest lifted. 20 seconds, come on, keep going, push that can out, straighten those arms, pull it back in. Same thing to your legs, pull that knee in, straighten that back leg back out. Three, two, one. That leg next. lunatic 10 seconds we're doing this last leg for the last time on this move get ready three two one and we're going come on bring it in and out <laughs> try and stabilize the rest of your body so you're staying more or less in this position seconds move one leg Oof. you're gonna tap kick tap kick with the side of your foot Oof. hold this on the other side actually so when you tap bring that arm up bend that elbow bring that leg up that fist up three two one go so tap and our curl kick tap kick that elbow in and back, lean into that kick, we're just adding a little bit of movement with your arm, bringing those arms into it, kick out with that foot, with your heel, the side of your foot, 30 seconds, again with this one it's twice on each side, Keep that elbow where it is. Don't be bringing it up. I'm not doing that. Ten. Four. Three. Two. One. That's not looking good. <laughs> I'm going to do the other side, so I'm going to have to move doing a different position. So, other side, tap, kick, tap, kick. Nearly there, nearly time. Three, two, one, go. Tap and curl, kick, tap and curl, kick. on this arm but you are bringing it into the job you are working it keep those shoulders down no idea what time we're on I keep doing that though I'm stepping in the opposite direction 30 seconds lean to that other side to counterbalance that kick just kick as high as you can but make it fast
10 seconds. Keep those shoulders down. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Other side again. Wow. I love them side kicks, you know. I'm like, like a complete um, pilchard while I'm doing it. But I do like them. 10 seconds, we're going back to that first side. Four, three, two, one, go. Tap and curl, kick. Tap and curl, kick. Tap, kick. Doesn't really matter what you do with that other arm. Lean into it, really kick it out. Tense this working arm. Keep your elbow tucked in and back. Push that foot out, kick it out, come on. 30 seconds. Swap to one side, then the other side, then both together. So it's both, one, other, both. Three, two, one, go. Push it up, swap at the bottom, swap at the bottom, both together, all the way up. High as you can, without actually going up over your head. Hold it both, hold the ends of the cans when you've got both, hands holding it. So it's a lot of focus on that hand position. Don't want you letting go of that can. Your feet are wide. Keep breathing. This one, we're doing all together. We're doing double then single. The next one, you're just going to do double, holding on with both hands. Then you're going to do one side, then the other. Three, two, one. Beautiful. So yeah, the next time, it's like that, all the way through. For no reason, I just felt like it, okay? Making it a little bit different. You want to 
I'll add a little bit to that one. Add a little jump. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So it's dip, up and jump if you can. You can slow it down if you're adding that jump. Or a little bit faster. Don't jump. Or as I've said many, many times during your workouts, alternate between the two. Do a bit of jumping. Do a bit without the jump. But try and speed it up. You're pushing up through those heels. Twenty seconds. I'm going to stick to this way because my blood sugar's been a bit of a pain today. I don't want it dropping too much. Ten seconds. Push it through those heels all the way up. Three, two, one. Choose which arm goes next. One arm. You're not swapping, you're not changing, you're just sticking to one arm. Got ten seconds. I should have opened the window. Three, two, one. Let's go. So middle, keep it in the middle. Tense the arm. This arm stays completely locked out. And I'm not going to any side. I'm straight up. A line straight up and down. Central position. Keep the arm tensed. Your palm is facing down. And yes, I'm going as fast as I can. Push up through those heels. Hold on tightly to that can. Don't let go. Don't loosen that grip. Shoulders down though. Always, always, always. 15 seconds. Yeah, it's a good one. I can feel this one. I felt all of them, but this one's really... Making me work, making me sweat. Three, two, one. And the other side. Cracky, yeah. That's what high intensity is all about, kids. Uh, wow, last time with this move, other arm. Stay on. Three, two, one, let's go. Try and keep that central line right in front of you. Not going up and out. Right in the middle. Palm facing down. Lock that elbow out, keep it straight, keep it tense, keep it working hard, keep it strong. Push up through those heels, dip it down, dip those knees. I'm not sticking my bum back a little bit, but not, not like a squat. I'm just dipping, I'm pushing straight back up, high with that arm. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Woo. One arm. Let's see if this works. I'm making it up on the spot here. Jump. Circle. There you go. Yeah, that just about works. Last move. <laughs> I haven't written anything down. I'm like, oh, what can I do next? <laughs> Four, three, two, one, go. Keep tension in the arm. Speed's up to you, just jump to the side. Big, big circle in front. Up and round. Keep your shoulders down though. Forty seconds. 
nearly there, kids. Come on. You'll feel it in this arm. Keep that arm as straight as you can. 20 seconds. If you can't jump, step. 10. shoulders. Wow, other side. Crikey, I'll be glad when we're done. But I'll also be very glad I did it. That heart rate should be blasting. Mine's extremely high. Wow. That's fat burning for you kids. Kids, what's that? I can't say guys or all like that. Get ready. Three, two, one. Other side. Remember, you can step if it's too much to jump. Or, as always, alternate between the two. Try and move the arm the same speed as you move the first one. I'm all over the shop. Do the tour of the kitchen. Thirty seconds. Two more blasts after this. One more from each arm, then you're done. 20. Keep hold of that can. Goodness me, please, please, please do. 10. Three, two, one. There you go. One more each side. Don't just stop. I don't care if you're just doing this. Just keep moving a little bit on the side. I'm going to go to the step. Again, it's, I'm still trying to sort the pump out months later, figure out what's the best thing to do. Timing and stuff like that and dosage. Get ready, three, sorry, three, two, one, go. So if you are just stepping, do it wide, do it fast. Bring that shoulder down, loosen it out. Bring that arm all the way around, up and over. Tap that foot in. If you're stepping, or even if you're jumping, obviously, you're doing a little jump, same sort of thing, but you're leaving the air, they're leaving the air, leaving the ground, of course. there. Other arm after this and you're done. And I'm done with you for a day. Unless you want to talk to me, ask me questions, whatever. Three, two, one. Whew. Other side. Wow. I've worked really hard today. I hope you are working hard too. seconds left in 10. Then I want you to take at least five minutes to cool down. Do this. Four, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Cool it down afterwards. You don't just stop. How many millions of times I have to say it? But I do have to say it. It's incredibly important to cool that heart rate down back to normal gradually not all in one go it's very unhealthy to do that the fitter you get the quicker that heart rate will return to normal that's one of the goals of getting healthier and fitter stabilizing that heart rate i really want to jump but i can't when i think about my blood sugar Working hard though, blooming neck, I can feel this one. Ten seconds. 
So close to the end. Big circle as you can manage. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. I am going to cool down. I am going to do, take it gradual. Ugh. I'm also possibly going to have to change this, but never mind. I'll soon see if my blood sugar's ended up here because it's not putting any insulin anymore. Right. I hope you've enjoyed it. Genuinely do. Please give me feedback. I want to know what you think about my videos, my workouts. Just talk to me. There you go. Chuff me. Sweaty. So there you go. Fitness by Susie. Body fat. Body burning. Hello. Hello. Fat burning hit. I know what I'm talking about. So you'll see it on the video. Never mind. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've worked as hard as I have. And I hope to see you again soon or for you to see me again soon. Right. There you go. Thank you very much. Bye bye for now.